I think when we really knew that we made the right decision was that she couldn't wait to go to school the next mm -hmm. day. That she spoke about her teachers and spoke about her friends all the time. And this is for someone's birthday. And that as a parent, I think you can't ask for much more, is that your child actually really enjoys to go to school and to learn and to come home and say, I learned this and I did that, and brings home her arts and crafts. This is now, everybody, everybody silly makes faces. silly faces. Yeah. <laughs> The minute we walked into the JCC, we felt welcome. Um, we saw the diversity here in the school, and we knew this is the right place for us. It's not just about the tradition here, it's about the education, which is extremely good. The way they are uh, uh, looking at the kids, that they care about the kids, it's, it's very important. I really love building community, and I think that the Jewish Community Center is one of the best places to, to build a community. People don't come here just to drop off their children. They come to make their forever friends. They come here because they want to find like-minded people, do outreach to the community here, and they've built an amazing, this is just an amazing community from that. So that drives me a lot. I think it's challenging um, to get sometimes people to understand that early childhood education is not babysitting. It lays the foundation for your child's whole life and helps them know how they're gonna feel about education. Are they gonna be happy? Are they gonna to wanna to learn? Are they gonna feel stifled? Are they gonna feel creative? I think getting them an early into the school early just helps them grow, gives them social skills, gives them ability to, to grow and learn in a way that they might not have been able to otherwise. The coronavirus hitting Florida. Asking all residents to stay at home. Lines long as far as the eye can see. Definitely the the pandemic has impacted the JCC. We were doing amazing, you know, financially as a not-for-profit, and suddenly we got stopped in our tracks. We were smack in the middle of the renovation when the pandemic hit us, and so then all of our plans to change out all of the, the cabinetry in most of these rooms is 30 years old, 30 years old. The pandemic hit, we were unable to, we had to stop cold. So now we had to back, you know, back it up, and we're using the money that we had raised initially, which was not nothing, um, but it's only about 50% of what we need. So we need to raise another couple hundred thousand dollars to be able to make our school fully renovated. It's really important that we do it because early childhood is fleeting. The most we get out of a child is five years. So if you put your baby in here today, the longest I'm gonna get your baby is five years. And that's all the time I get, and that's short and it goes by amazingly quickly. So the sooner that we get this done, the more we're going to be where we need to be to reach our goals to be the most stellar preschool that we can be. I think that a community should support its preschool and its JCC because in turn the preschool and the J supports the children and the families of the community. So by supporting the programs here, the community is in turn supporting itself and look at all the fabulous things that the J is doing for everyone in the community. It's extremely important to have this school because first keeps the community together, gives excellent education to the kids. Kids are extremely happy here. Not just my kids, I see lots of kids. The JCC, this preschool, is where our kids belong. Sophie has totally blossomed through the community and uh, I'm looking forward to Max having the same experience here. If we wait, the children will be gone that we're trying to do this for. So, we can't wait.